This is one of Katine's only sources of power, a single car battery. It is brought to the village once a week by 22-year-old Patrick Oogle. Tuesday is market day when thousands converge among the food, clothes and drink stalls in the centre of Katine. Here, Oogle's battery offers them that rare chance to charge phones, play music and have a haircut. Just having access to power makes him the village's key barber. Katine has long been cut off from Uganda's electricity grid. Wires that once ran into the region were cut down by rebels and have never been repaired. Batteries are the only source of power, but for most people living in Katine, they are a luxury.